on, Ben. Be nice. She's not feeling very well. Okay. Okay, you can go out and play in the corral for a few hours. Oh, Caitlin. You're supposed to knock. Uh, I did. This place is a scary. Yeah, they're filming a horror movie in here next week. Very funny. You may be able to live in a mess like this, but Bandit can't. When's the last time you mucked out his stall? I don't know, sometime last week, I think. You think? You know that Bandit's stall has to be mucked out at least twice a week. I forgot. Well, that's not good enough. Bandit is your responsibility, Caitlin. I know. Well, then, if you know, why do I have to keep reminding you of that fact? Clean Bandit's stall now. And when you're finished, you can attack this room. But it's Saturday. Can't we just throw it out and you get me a new one? Joke. Lighten up. I take care of Bandit. He's really happy. So his stall didn't get mucked out. Big deal. Sorry, boy. It's not like I'm totally irresponsible. There's a devil standing on my tail. But I don't have to be him. That is tempting me to fail Turn a pile of oats into something totally disgusting. Man, I should be getting hazard pay for this. Pay. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Cool parrot. Yeah, he's a golden blue macaw. Huh. He's 37 years old. You know they can live as long as humans? Oh, cool. Can he talk? No, he can. He just won't. He's recovering from a bad throat infection, and he just refuses to talk. Oh, what are you going to do? Well, I'm just not sure yet. Hey, Dory, I, I was wondering. Yes? Yeah? Well, with all the film I've been shooting, I could use some extra cash and... I thought it might be a good idea if maybe you hired me to work in your clinic part-time. Well, that's a good idea, and I could use the help. Great. But I just don't think you're the right person for the job. What? Why not? Because you're not very responsible, Caitlin. I need somebody that I can rely on. A swing workshop? Yeah, like, I need classes for that. But you don't know anything about swing. Sure I do. <laughs> Griffin. Oh, hey, Annie. Hi. Are you signing up? Oh, no. Swing's so over. I like it. You do? Well, maybe I'll see you around sometime. Ah. Oh. Idiot, how can I act like such a jerk? All right, 
I'm signing up for swing classes, and so are you. Your mother said I wasn't responsible enough. Who cares? Listen, I was just, you know, dissing swing for the fun of it. So do you think I still have a chance with her? Could you just forget about girls for five seconds? Not girls, Annie. 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 I need your advice on how to get Dory to hire me. You need help from me. Well, 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 that is a switch. Okay, I'll do it, but it's gonna cost you. Then forget it. I don't have any money. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of a favor. What, you mean like doing one of your chores? Maybe, maybe not. In any case, I reserve the right to choose later on. Fine. So what about Dory? It's simple. Just take some more interest in her cases. Ask her a few technical questions, use a few big words. She's a sucker for that sort of thing. Has he talked yet? And Frederick? Mm. No. We've tried everything and he just won't utter a word. Yeah, I, you know, I looked up some stuff on the internet about parrots. It said that they have the same mentality as a two-year-old child. So I was thinking that since two-year-old children do the exact opposite of what you want them to do, maybe if you completely ignored Frederick, he'd get bored and start talking again. It's not a bad idea. Really? Yeah, maybe I'll give that a try. Thanks. This is from your grandfather's collection. What do you think? I think it belongs on a best of funeral home hits. Okay, we'll try a bigger sound. I just don't get it. What's to get? This is great music. Lenny Kravitz is great music. These are bad songs from World War II. A bunch of goofy old dance steps, dressing up in funny old clothes. Look, if nothing else, swing is a great way to get close to a girl. <sighs> close, that's right. I'll get to hold her. When we dated, your mom and I used to always listen to big band music. And it wasn't cool then, either. Hey! How about I teach you how to jive? Just fake it. Annie won't be any good either if she signed up for lessons. So what do you say, Jim? Let's show Griffin how to jive. You know I let it shine from the get bad on TV. Rockin' at the palace. Rockin' at the palace. Rockin' at the palace. Rockin' at the palace. We're going rockin' at the palace. I love to move my feet. How do you know how to jive? Well, there are a lot of things you don't know about me. There is no one else, Griffin. I really need your help. But you don't understand. I have plans. Well, cancel them. I need your help here at the clinic. Um. The Walsh cow has an abnormally high white count. It could be infectious. It could spread to the whole herd. Well, look, the look, thing all is... All the charts are right here with all the feeding information that you need. The goat gets water only. Why? Oh, she swallowed a ping pong ball, and I'm waiting for her to pass it. Look, everything you need is in the charts. If you have any problems, you just call me on the cell phone. Griffin, I am counting on you. It's payback time. No way. You lecture me on responsibility and now you're taking off? Amy's so cool. I owe it to myself to impress the most excellent girl I'm ever going to meet. Look, I'll do the dishes, I'll take out the trash, I'll do whatever, but I'm not taking care of the clinic by myself. Yesterday you were dying to take care of the clinic. But Dory doesn't trust me. She'd freak if she found out. What happens if something goes wrong? Everything's in the charts. 
Come on, this is your big chance to show Mom you can be responsible. Just imagine how impressed she'll be when she gets back and discovers you took care of everything. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna be late. Look, there's nothing to it, Caitlin. Here, this is the number of the dance studio. Call me if you have any problems, okay? Say okay. Go. Thanks. I don't see you. You don't exist. Too much. Mm. Let's see what your chart says. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Pepper, oh no. She's a teacher? No, I can't do this. Griffin! I thought you said swing was over. Oh, oh, um, uh, <laughs> me? No, I meant over in the cool sense. Right. Come on, Griff. Okay, start with a little pulling resistance. No slap, let your water steam. You ready? Don't let your elbows go behind your body. Now step forward with your left foot. Oh, sorry. Pepper! Here, boy! Come on, I'm not in the mood to play hide-and-seek with you right now. Come on, Pepper. There you are. Really try losing some weight before you decide to run away next time. Come on. What's the matter, boy? You're definitely not a he. And you're definitely not fat. You're having puppies. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, ready? Yeah. One and two, three and four. Step forward, step back. Good. Oh, sorry. It's okay. That is a lot harder than it looks. Man, puppies. I can't do this. Oh, yeah? I can so. Okay, so you can talk huh? again, big deal. Besides, it says here that dogs don't need much help anyway. Four to five puppies a litter. In an hour, mommy and baby should be resting comfortably. That can't be right. Thirteen? She's expecting thirteen? This is way cool. I think you're gonna get just fine. Brett, you wanna try? Yeah. I think I got it. You know, you could be a really good swing dancer. <laughs> okay, I think we both got it.
stop what? You know what? No, I don't. I like Annie, remember? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I can't leave. Not now. Griffin, it's 13. Didn't you hear me? 13! This is life or death here. So is this. But how do I get him out? I don't know what to do. You don't have to do anything. Dogs have been having puppies for ages without help. I gotta go. Don't. Honey, look. I can't make it stop hurting. Please stop. I can't do this. I can't do this. I gotta get out of here. Griffin said she'd be fine by herself. Dogs have been having puppies for ages without help. So, what if Griffin's wrong? Can't leave her there alone. There's no one else to help her. Like home. Are you comfortable now? Shh. That's good. That's good, girl. Shh. Okay. When they come out, rub the puppies until they squeak. Great. But how do they come out? And what if they don't squeak? They always squeak if you do it right. Forget the book. I've watched Mom do this a million times. Thanks for coming. How was the class? What do you care? I, I brought the whelping kit from the clinic. Why'd you let the dog out of the clinic in the first place? I'm beginning to think Mom was right about not letting you work here. You're right. I'm an irresponsible jerk. We have to help her. So, what do we do? I don't know. What? You acted like you knew everything about this. I said I've watched Mom do this tons of times, but I've never actually done it myself. Well, what do we do if something goes wrong? We can't do this by ourselves. It's okay, Pepper. We're gonna help you through this. Look, there's a nose. Did you hear him? He squeaked. Oh, he's so little. Or she. I see another nose. Okay. Number five's okay. So is number six. Come on, Pepper. Come on, girl. You can do it. Number nine coming up. <laughs> That's number 12. How you doing? Okay. I really feel like I'm making a difference, you know? Like we're making a difference. Well, get ready, because here comes difference number 13. It's not squeaking. Try rubbing him harder. Nothing. Griffin, it's not breathing. Okay, we have to aspirate it quick. Here, I'll hold the pup. You open his mouth gently. Put your fingers where the jawbones meet and squeeze gently. I have to stick the tube in and do exactly what you're doing. Come on, little puppy, please squeak. Yes! You guys, both of you. Oh, and Pepper, you too. Thirteen. Oh, all hungry and healthy. Caitlin did all the work. 
I was just an extra pair of hands. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm going back to the class. You guys can handle things without me. What do you mean, back? Back? Oh, <laughs> did I say back? Nice whelping with you, Caitlin. Yeah, same to you. Oh, and knock her dead. Who? Oh, nothing, Mom. By the way, did you do something to the goat? Uh, well, you see, Dory, he, whatever it is you did, he passed that ping pong ball. And Frederick's talking a blue streak. How'd you do it? Just lucky, I guess. Caitlin, I'm so proud of you. You know what? I, I think I've got myself a new assistant. Really? Absolutely. So when do I get my first paycheck? I've never had a student improve so fast. Well, the thing is, in the beginning, I was just trying to look bad. So, well, Griff was so excited to take this class with you that I wanted to help make him look good. You know, Griffin's really lucky to have a friend like you. No, I'm lucky. I wonder if Andy does hip hop. I could definitely win it back with hip hop. Maybe Pepper could have done it all by herself, but I think she was glad to have me around. Welping those little guys made me feel pretty responsible, and that's a new feeling. Okay, Bandit, I guess I'll be mucking out your stall regularly now. Gross as it is, come on, boy.